There's so many reasons why I decided to run Windows 11 on my Steam Deck instead of SteamOS, but this is a tutorial video, so I'll just list two. Number one, access to my entire game library from any store, Steam, Epic, Game Pass, Battle.net, it all works. No fiddling, no configuration, it just works. Number two is performance. FPS is higher on average, and while the deck is a very capable piece of hardware, every frame counts when it comes to performance. Now, I'm making this tutorial to teach you how to install Windows 11 on the Steam Deck internal SSD using only an SD card. If you have a Steam Deck, you probably have an SD card, and that's all you need to get started here. So, pop your micro SD card into your PC, and let's get a Windows boot image loaded up onto it. Search for the Windows 11 media creation tool, and then click on the first link. Then look for the Create Windows 11 installation media section, and click Download Now. Once the tool is loaded up, accept the Windows license, go with the recommended settings, choose the drive which has your micro SD card, and then hit next. This will take a few minutes, and then you'll have a bootable micro SD. Next, we're going to load the micro SD with the Steam Deck drivers. Search for Steam Deck Windows drivers, and let's get them directly from Steam. Navigate to the Steam Deck Windows Resources page and download all the drivers here. Don't worry if your list of drivers looks a little different. Download everything that Steam has on this page as the latest version of the drivers. As of this video, there are drivers for the APU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SD card, and audio. That's everything you need for a complete experience on Windows. Once they're all downloaded, I'm going to use 7-Zip to unzip them all and then delete the original zip files. Then, I'll make a folder called Drivers and place all of those new folders into that folder. Then, I'm going to move the Drivers folder onto the root of my micro SD card. First, we're going to power down. Hold down the power button until the power options appear. When they do, select Shutdown and press A. Once it's fully shut down, we'll put in the micro SD card in the bottom of the deck. Then, hold the volume down button and then tap the power button. Keep holding the volume down button until you see the boot menu appear. Then select the SD card from the boot menu and press A to boot into the Windows installer. The screen will flip into portrait mode, so flip your deck until we're done installing Windows and we'll switch it back to landscape. Hit next on the first screen, then hit install now. Select I don't have a product key, select Windows 11 Pro or whatever version you prefer, Accept the license agreement and tap Next. Choose Custom Install and we'll wipe out all the SteamOS partitions. Select each partition and hit Delete until you're left with a single unallocated disk partition. Then hit New to create the Windows partitions on your empty drive. Hit Apply and then OK and Windows will create the partitions it needs. Then hit Next and wait for Windows to finish installing. When it's done, the deck will reboot and you can finish the installation. Alright, choose your country. Choose your keyboard layout, skip the second keyboard layout, select I don't have internet because we don't have the Wi-Fi drivers installed yet, select continue with limited setup, enter your username, I'm going to put punch bro, enter your password, choose your privacy settings, then hit next. Windows 11 will now boot. Long press on your desktop and select display settings. Scroll down to display orientation and select landscape and then save changes. Close the display settings and let's get started on drivers. Open your file explorer and select your SD card and navigate to the drivers folder. We'll install these one by one. Each folder has an installer. Choose it and walk through the prompts to install all the drivers. Some of the drivers require you to right click on the setup file and select install from the context menu. Make sure you do that. When all the drivers are installed, reboot your Steam Deck and you're ready to install some games. 